you guys are just getting over here from the snook fishing video, that's our life. I mean, right out there's our boat, there's the river, this is what we do. And instead of making one huge video, I broke it into two. If you enjoyed that, now you're here, let me show you how we're gonna cook it. Before Sarah got home, I was already making this salsa right here, which I'm not done with. I've got the plum tomatoes, the shallots, the basil, a little bit of olive oil. Now we're just gonna coarsely, I don't want this to be really broke up. We're gonna throw those. Oh, this is gonna be so good. Now, that's ready. We're gonna saute that down. That's one part. Here's another part. I think that's an acorn squash. I'm pretty sure it is. Even if it's not, I'm gonna cook it the same way. Let me show you guys a really good, easy, super delicious recipe. Take this, we're gonna cut the top off. Make sure you got a nice sharp knife. If, you're, if your knife's not sharp, it won't do that. Cut it on both sides. Cut it right down the center. Just like that. Put that like that. Set these on here. And this is so easy for any of you at home that just want to make a nice dish. Um, some people would just use salt and pepper. I'm addicted to Everglades seasoning. I'm an addict. I love this stuff to death. The Everglades, you can use salt, pepper, whatever, uh, whatever spice you like, but if, if you want, try some Everglades. You'll enjoy it. Got some brown sugar here. We're just gonna, that's gonna melt down. Look how nice that looks. Uh, we have more treats going in this. Chopped pecans. That is going to be so sweet. That's honey. But see, right now she's worried about it being too sweet. But as this cooks, this is going to melt down, melt down, melt down. And most of that will wind up in the pan. But what you're left with is just some, oh, so good. Now, oven set at 350. We're going to put that in there for about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. So it is five minutes after seven. At 7.45, that'll be ready. Now let's clean this up. Aren't you proud of our dogs? They're all being totally cool tonight. Not going to work. Food processor. I'm going to take some panko breadcrumbs. Put that in there. Not that much. I'm going to take the rest of these mushrooms. About that much. I forgot one. Put them all in there. I'm going to take some parsley, not that much, and I am going to take some lemongrass. See that? That stuff is amazing. That's just period lemongrass. Then, put that in there. Oh, it smells so good. Now, you're probably wondering how this is all going to come together. And then we're gonna. All right, now we have some love. Look at that. Everything just came together. Now let's cut up some fish. We want a nice, thick piece of fish. And we're gonna use some Everglades, Everglades fish and chicken. Now, I wanna tell you guys, this is really cool. Since I started my channel and I've been using Everglades so many people have been asking for this stuff at different um, like retailers now you can buy this at Walmart Publix uh, a whole bunch of other places so if you're looking for it go into your local you know supermarket ask for it if they don't have it ask them to order it and if they don't Go onto their website, EvergladesSeasoning.com. That's where I get all mine. And uh, you're good. So that's nice and seasoned up. Okay, good. 
we'll just let this sit right over there. We're also going to do some asparagus. Good. We're going to cook that in a grill pan. Here we go, y'all. I want to ask you a question. My good buddy, Moots, which is Lineman23 on YouTube. I've known him for a few years now. He's one of my best friends in the entire world, and he's going to be alligator hunting with us on August 15th on the north end of Lake Okeechobee. So excited. But he told me that I need to start vlogging. Basically make a video every single day of our crazy lives. I mean, whether we're going out to the sandbar, hitting the tennis ball for the dogs, or editing or whatever. If you guys think I should, if you're interested in seeing a little video, five, 10 minutes every day of our lives, leave a comment, let us know what's going on. We're still gonna do deer meat for dinner, obviously, but if you wanna see just a crazy, not so edited. No vlog, routine. Yeah, if you wanna see that, let me know. And if y'all wanna see it, we'll show it to you because YouTube is quickly turning into a huge part of our life. Thanks to y'all. And it's, Woo! Yeah. So, let's start off with a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit. Right there. And right here. Just a touch. Now, here's our salsa. Not quite hot enough yet. I want it to get hotter. So what do you want to see? I want it to really be hot. Uh, it's, start, it's, it's looking. The colors are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, that's nice and hot. Take our fish. Can you just spread that with ham? Yeah, just a little bit of ham. We want that nice and hot. We want to get good marks on our fish. Mm. How cool is this? I mean, yesterday afternoon we were out caught the snook, came back, filleted it up, now we're eating it. Beautiful, y'all, beautiful. Our salsa, I don't want it to cook too fast, so I'm gonna turn it down. I'm gonna turn that down to like a low. It smells so good. Okay, so our fish is ready for the love. Here we go. I'm gonna take some of our salsa. Be liberal with it. Don't don't be scared to use some. Mm. Now we're going to take some of our breadcrumbs. Take some of our breadcrumbs. We're going to put that right on top. Mm -hmm. In the oven. Ten minutes! The timing is impeccable, folks. Leave the fish in there for ten minutes. They're 350. Alright. Here we go, y'all. Oh my gosh, look how good that looks. Can't wait till you see it come. Oh look at that. Look how nice that looks. Look how nice that looks. 
smells so good. One nice piece of fish. Don't forget that. Around the plate, a little olive oil. Just a little drizzle here and there. Then we're going to take, this is balsamic glaze. If you don't have balsamic glaze, take a pot of balsamic vinegar and boil it until you come up with a glaze. I almost don't want to eat it, it looks too perfect. Oh, he's Piece using basil. Basil. Piece of basil. Dear Lord, I thank you so much for such an awesome day. Thank you for the fish. Thank you for all our many blessings. Lord, I pray that you nourish us through our body, keep us safe, and forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. That's right. That's spaghetti squash. As I was saying. Okay, well, the label on public said that it was not. Okay, well, that's really hot, so we're just gonna go. Hey, you're gonna look good. I want everything in it. Mmm, it just smells like that. really good. And even though this is on there, I don't know if it's on for decoration or what. No, that's I'm not a cook. But it slid into the side of the balsamic glaze. That adds a lot of flavor. But I want a tomato. So I'm kind of tomato. Okay, seriously, this is the best fish I've ever eaten. It's just very herby and light and flavorful and pretty and good for you. Mm. Mars, okay. like, I want some of that. Honey, this is really, really, seriously good. Good. Like, off the charts. Good. Um, I know y'all can't see that from there, but. This came out, I had this imagination what I wanted it to come out like, and it looks exactly like I imagined. So good. Mm -hmm. So good. I guarantee you, there's no restaurant on planet Earth that this would not rock at. Whoa. That is amazing, period. I'm not saying that because I cooked it, I'm saying, because you don't even know. I've done this a lot of times where I have this crazy idea, I cook it, and I'm like, eh, I don't think that's that good, so I don't even make the video. This, A plus, plus, yeah, A plus, 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 plus. Try this. Please. Now, I was thinking this was spaghetti squash, but she swore it was not. That's what Publix told me. I'm not a veggie vegetable person. But it worked. It it worked with the spaghetti squash. It works. This is, tastes fantastic. Wow. That is even better than I expected. And I'm gonna make him put that blend of herbs on my almond tomorrow morning. Looks like she's already expecting an omelet tomorrow morning. I'm not dummy. That's so good. Taste the squash. Mm. Holy tomato. I wanna look at this. 
I want to get snook fishing again. I would have to say that's the best fish I've ever had in my whole life. It's really good too. It's not as sweet as what it looks like in the beginning. If you have a restaurant out there, watch this video real close and make this dish. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, people will come back just to eat it. If you're at home, if you're like cooking for some new hot chick, make this one first. 